we had the secret spices mix. And can you tell us, or is it a secret? It's salt and pepper. Oh, and what will salt and pepper do to enhance the flavor of the cheeses in the sauce? Well, the salt will bring out um, some of the flavors of the cheese, as well as add that salty flavor. And then the pepper adds a little bit of spice to make the taste interesting. You say it's salt and pepper, but salt and pepper is black, so why is it pink? There's a little bit of cayenne pepper, which is a, a different kind of pepper that it adds. And that will add a little bit of a kick to the flavor? Yes, just a little bit to make it a bit more uh, interesting. Oh, okay, so a little slight variance in the difference of the sauce there. And how does it taste so far? Good so far. I think I'll add a little bit more cheese. Okay. And I think Dan is about ready to top it off with, what is it that you're topping it off with? Uh, panko crumb. So I changed my mind. Earlier I said that I would not do this until I boiled, but I'm sort of afraid that this is not going to cook fast enough. So I'm going to add this now. Um, why panko and not regular bread crust? Um, regular breadcrumbs, it doesn't have the jaggedness that panko has. So what we're going for here is a very sh uh, like uh, crunchy texture versus a very soft texture, which is mac and cheese. Okay. So maybe a little extra crunch will make the mac and cheese taste better? Yeah, because a big thing mac and cheese is like you get that cheesy sensation as you eat it. but you want to sort of give uh, your palate a little diversity as, as you eat. So the thing is the, the contrast between the, the crunchiness and the creaminess is something that I'm trying to achieve. So we're about ready now. I'm going to put this in the, the oven for about 10 minutes and then we're going to brown this. And the oven was preheated beforehand? Yes, it got preheated to 325. And because these racks are big, we're going to have to remove a top rack of this. So this is going in. I need to keep track about 10, 15 minutes. OK. So he's breaking up some of the mac and cheese part. And now pouring over the sauce. And folding in the macaroni with the cheese. And are you going to top it off with the same cheese that you use in your sauce? Or? Yeah, so I'll top it off with some more cheese and also some breadcrumbs to get that crunchy difference that Dan was talking about. So it looks like both chefs are trying to have a mac and cheese with great cheese flavor and a crunchy uh, top. And now, it's covering the top with some cheese. I can just smell the aroma in this place. Breadcrumbs, the panko. And it looks like he's using a technique to make it spread out evenly. Do you have a special name for this technique? Tapping it into the bowl. And we're done. Yay, and now into the oven it goes. And we await. And now we're, it's time to see the finished product. And Dan here is going to open up the stove and let's see the work. So what we have here is um, we baked it for uh, under 325 for a little bit. But what we want to do as a final result is we want to brown the top. So uh, to give both of us a fair advantage, we're both going to be browning. And what is this browning technique that you're talking about? So what it basically means is we're going to turn the broiler on high and we're going to basically nuke this thing for about five minutes. Yep. 
So what happens here is when you broil, oh. when you when you broil something, um, only the top uh, top grills are on. So as you see here, the heat is only coming from the top down to the bottom, and it's going to give us a really nice sear. And now it's time to taste this final product, and we're here with Chef Tony. And tell us again your ingredients that you use for the mac and cheese. So today we use a sharp cheddar cheese, and we also use a Fontina cheese. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, a uh, Pecorino cheese. And here we have it browned on top with breadcrumbs. So please, try my creation. And now let's meet the judges. First off, we have... Hi, I'm Leah. I'm a student. Okay. Next off, we have. I am Philip, and I'm a musician. And last but not least, I'm an anime freak and a world class photographer. And now let the tasting begin. Any thoughts or comments right now? It <laughs> <laughs> just came right out of the oven, so it's steaming hot. But let's first start off with Leah. It tastes pretty good. It's just There's a lot of powdery feeling, but it tastes good. Just good. Yeah. And Philip? It's very good and very cheesy and powdery, like she said. And Sarah, how is the texture and taste of the cheese? Hmm. I like how it's like powdery and um, it's kind of crunchy at the top. I like it. So, so far from all three you've heard, it's powdery, cheesy, and crunchy. So let's wait to see what they think. And now we'll try Dan's mac and cheese. And now we're here with Chef Dan and his final creation. And again, review us what ingredients you use for your mac and cheese. Sure, so we use uh, Parmesan Reggiano, a uh, little bit of grainy of that. Then we use cheddar, Gruyere, and we use Velveeta for two sort of combined together. So it's topped with panko. And you see here, this is um, gorgonzola. So it's just a little different. Gorgonzola is a little pungent, and this has an intense smell. So I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so. <laughs> Judges, you could taste Dan's final product. Okay, Leah, your thoughts so far? Oh my god, it's delicious. Yeah, it's very delicious. I like it. And Philip? It's awesome. I don't. I don't know what it's called. Basil? Did you say? I don't know. It's. It, it was really. It's really awesome. I like that extra taste. Other than cheese. Sarah, can you describe the crunchiness and the taste of the flavor of the cheese this, is this time? Is it a moldy thing? <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Did you expect it to be moldy, or what are your opinions about it so far? Ugh, wait, it's kind of bitter, and then the aftertaste is good. Okay, so we had awesome, um, bitter, moldy, so we'll see on how their decision is between the two judges. Alrighty, the results are in, and between Chef Tony and Chef Dan, the winner is Dan. Good job. Good job. Um, it was a two to one decision. And why did you choose Dan? Well, first of all, um, it's very original and it, it was really delicious. 